We are actually on our way to go pick up the dining chairs. Maybe do a quick little thrift run and just see what we can find. I am trying to decide what I want the seat of the dining chairs to be. Hey, welcome back to the vlog. I know it has been a little bit, but I'm going to have to catch you up later because we are actually on our way to go pick up the dining chairs. I'm so excited. later and I have some errands I need to run and so I'm going to take you with me and of course I will finally catch you up on all of the projects that we have going on around the house because I know it has been a little bit. I need to drop off a lot of stuff over at Goodwill. I went through my clothes and uh, even just the first half of it I have so much to drop off. I also have some like random odds and ends that I need to drop off there too. Um, I need to take a big batch over to the consignment shop uh, and hopefully get a little bit back from that so that way I can invest it into some more clothes or house projects. And then I'm also going to try to pick up some supplies for our upcoming projects. Oh, and then I need to pick up our grocery order. So quite a few errands um, and I think let's go start just by going down the road and dropping it off at Goodwill. Maybe do a quick little thrift run and just see what we can find um, and then I'll catch you up on our way into town. But let's head out. the humidity today is so bad like my glasses are fogging up the instant I get in and out of my car or in and out of the store I was able to drop off the Goodwill stuff and I did a little run through just really fast and I found another really cute little sugar glass this is gonna be really awesome for the candle collection uh, I love these little double handles that are missing their lid they're just perfect so That'll be part of the candle collection. And I'm so excited because last time I only had one of these in the collection and it was one of my favorites. And I was so sad that there was only one. This time I have found many of the little cute double handles. So there will be a good chance that you can actually snag one when that happens. And then the only other thing I found was this basket. It has a couple of little places, but it's really sturdy. Like it kind of feels like it's wrapped uh, wood frame. And so I thought this would be really awesome for organizing like under a countertop or something, but it was only $3. So I was like, I'm gonna pick that up. But anyways, we need to go to our next stop, which is dropping off the clothes at the consignment shop. Okay, I also need to catch you up on the projects around the house and the progress that we've been making. So even though I've had like a little hiatus, I've been taking a little bit of a summer vacation, if you will. Um, unintentionally <laughs> we have made a little bit of progress uh we were able to get the porch the back deck we were able to power wash it and it looks so much better already uh other than the fact it needs paint desperately but we've not been able to paint it because the rain i mean like i said the humidity we've been getting thunderstorms or at least called for thunderstorms daily for like two weeks now and even when we don't get the rain the humidity is severe um, it's like it's coming any moment. So we've not been able to paint it yet, but we were able to get new cushions, which are so nice, even though they're just from Walmart. But, uh, if I can link them, I will, because we're really impressed with them so far. I don't know how well they'll last over time. Like if they'll keep their, um, if they'll keep their cushion or not, but they're really comfortable. I love the color. They're super thick. I love them. Um, so if I can, I'll link them for you, but we were able to get those and in the color that I wanted, hopefully it'll hold up uh, and not get too dirty or we'll be able to clean them or power wash them or something. And then we also were able to Facebook marketplace a 
trunk to hold the cushions in so that way when it's raining or if we're not using them they'll stay protected so we were able to get one of those for a really good steal i think 90 dollars or so um and so that's like half the price of what one new is so we were very happy with that and then i decided to not move ahead with the potting table i couldn't find one that i just loved i just i just didn't fall in love and it wasn't necessary and so i decided to leave that also where i was thinking about putting it on the back deck as we started working on the deck i realized i really want it to be an entertainment space and i don't necessarily want my potting station out there i may want it over on like our side porch or something um so i kind of just put a hold on that you saw where we went and picked up the dining chairs i'm so excited and today one of my errands is actually to go and get the supplies to work on those um, so yes, we brought them home. They're amazing, just like I wanted. Uh, there's only one that has any kind of damage to it, and I think I have some ideas of how to kind of work around that. Um, let's see, other updates. Oh, there's a really exciting one, but I think I'm gonna wait and surprise you in one of the upcoming videos over on the channel. So I'm gonna leave that. Um, but yeah, so that is the dining room updates and the porch updates. And then in other news, there's actually a really fun trip I'm gonna take you on coming up at the end of this month. And it's gonna be like a week long, just jam packed fun for us. Uh, and so yeah, stay tuned for that too. But I think that's the, the major updates. If there's anything I left out that you're like, uh, you left me hanging, just let me know in the comments. Um, but for now, we really need to go run these errands so that way I don't miss our pickup time for our groceries. So let's go drop off these clothes and see what we can find for supplies for the dining room. got what I needed at Hobby Lobby, which it was just some acrylic paint and then like sponges. I'll explain why later. Um, but I was so tempted by those half off pillows and the half off rug. Like you can't get that stuff off of Amazon for that price. Wild. That, that checkered floor mat that was so cute it was only $10. And some of those faux leather pillows were only 15, but I resisted just stuck to getting the acrylic paint that I needed. So basically with the dining chairs, I've decided I'm not gonna replace the cane. And unfortunately somebody painted it white um, and one of them has like a hole in it. And so I don't know exactly if I'm gonna be able to patch that or just have to work around it. But I was looking for ways to restore cane, whether that's stripping the paint off of it or I, I don't know, just ways to restore it back to more of a natural look. It looks like no one restores cane. I don't know why. Um, maybe it's just too difficult, not worth it, and you can just buy it new, but I really don't want to redo it. I really don't want to buy cane. I really don't want to restaple it. I don't want to mess with that. So I found where someone did this with wicker, not cane, but I'm going to test it out on cane. And basically they painted the already painted cane or wicker to look like the natural tones and the way they did it was a very specific spray paint which i'm about to pick up here at the hardware store and then instead of doing low lights they used a yellowish gold ochre kind of color to create a highlight that you would see in a wood tone with like a sponge so 
that's what we're going to try to do on the dining chairs and then i'm going to paint the frames and reupholster them by the way i was looking in there at some of the fabrics for the dining chairs and i'm super torn and it's probably going to have to wait until i've finished the chairs before i can make a decision but i am trying to decide what i want the seat of the dining chairs to be my gut tells me i'm either going to want like a really lush velvety kind of tone whether that is solid black like my inspo photo or whether that is more of like a lush um tan linen kind of color maybe linen um but i think a faux leather would probably be more durable and easier to clean at a dining table so i'm kind of torn because i'm a little worried that a faux leather will the tone will compete with the already warm tone of the back of the cane. It just may be a lot going on with the black frame, the cane that's painted, and then some kind of faux leather. So that's, that's where I'm torn. So drop me your best suggestions or what you would do in that situation. But like I said, for me, I'm probably gonna have to wait until it's all painted. So anyway, let's go pick up what we need at Lowe's. And then I think my consignment shop time will be up and it'll be time to go pick that up and then go get our groceries. <sighs> I had to put my hair up. It is so humid today. It's killing me. It's really not even that hot. It's completely overcast, but like it is killing me um okay so i got the spray paint i'm so happy they had it because it's a very specific one is what i read um it's the rustoleum satin nutmeg apparently this makes a really good base um combined with the tone of this to create like a natural wicker cane kind of look so i got two cans of this i don't know if that's too many or um how the coverage would be but i have to do the front and the back of six chairs so in case i needed to do two coats i got um two cans and hopefully that'll be enough and then i also got one can of matte sealer because since these will be dining chairs and i'm painting paint and adding like a sponge technique to it. I wanted to make sure it was sealed really well. Um, so that way it didn't like start chipping off when people are sitting at the dining table. So I got a matte sealer uh, and I'm pretty happy with that. I was also trying to be proactive and go ahead and look at strippers for the dining table itself to take off especially that varnish and stain off the top because it's so orange. Um, I really wanted to use like citrus strip. I've seen it, I think, like I, I would prefer something more natural like that. Um, I just would be more comfortable using something like that. But when I went to go look to see, you know, what it does, I've seen it work really well, but it's with paint. And on the container itself, it actually doesn't mention anything about stain or varnish. It really sticks to more paint um, and latex and acrylic and, thicker things like that so I don't know if it would work on that so I held off on that for now um if you know anything about it if you have personally used it to remove just stain not paint uh let me know also let me know what your best product is to remove stain I just I really need some help uh, it's there's a 99.9% .9 chance that it's a very thin veneer on this table so I really don't want to go crazy sanding it. I really would love to do just a very light sand. Um, so I really don't want to use sanding as my only method to remove this finish. Um, I'm just a little worried about it. Uh, so yeah, anyway, that's where I'm at with that. So any and all suggestions would be very, 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 very much appreciated. I'm also going to probably consult my French or flipping friends. So yeah, um, let's go back and pick up my um consignment shop whatever they didn't take and hopefully they took a lot <laughs> and then it'll be time to go pick up groceries okay. i'm back home got everything that we needed to which is awesome and i am done for the day that humidity knocked me out and then it poured rain for like 10 minutes not even 
Um, so I just made some lunch really quick. I made us little uh, charcuterie boards. So I got apples, pepper slices, a broken up chomp, um, some walnuts, and then that is a really good veggie dip. So it's a um, good culture sour cream. And then I just put in like dill, garlic, parsley, onion powder, a little bit of garlic salt, some lemon juice. It's just, it's really good. Um, so that's mine. And then Josh's has some pepperoni and some cheese added to it. So anyway, I think we're going to eat and yeah, I think hang out together. It's kind of one of our only days off together. So I think we might do that and just enjoy one another. I do plan on starting the dining room chairs soon. However, I think I've made up my mind and I'm actually going to paint the dining room windows first um and also work on the staircase first so i'm planning on taking down the blinds over here and painting the trim just like i painted the trim over in the living room so i'm going to paint the trim um and you can kind of see outside how we did some work so that has our cushions in it it definitely looks much better it needs to be blown off again but see how much we need paint it's it's pretty severe but it was actually so bad there was so much like grime built up um okay so we're gonna paint this and then i'm also going to paint the staircase and i think that way once i have like the staircase and those windows painted and then these windows painted i'll be able to better tell how i want these chairs and want this table in order to do this space sorry for the mess this is just like the reality of things so so yeah i think Actually, what I'm going to do is starting this coming week, uh, I'm going to start on the staircase and these windows. And so obviously I'll take you along with me with that. And I think it's going to make a really big difference, but it's so simple to do. So I'm going to do that and then we'll start testing out stuff for the dining chairs and this table. Thank you for coming along with me today or on my random little errands. Hopefully this got you all caught up on house projects and hopefully I'm going to be back in a regular rhythm of posting videos. Like I said, it was kind of like a little impromptu summer break, but uh, I'm itching to work on these projects and uh, get started on these chairs. So definitely let me know if you know anything about strippers for getting the orange off of this table or if you have any strong opinions or suggestions for the seats of these dining chairs because they really need to be real upholstered. This is just not um the vibe. So anyway, please let me know if you have any ideas for that and I will see you very soon in the next one. Bye.